decided to go for a run this morning along what I call Baobab Bridge and uh, you'll see now why I call it Baobab Bridge because this whole place is just a mass of Baobab it's so encouraging to see these big ones, small ones, middle ones all sizes here yeah, even though the elephants are getting to them they still little ones are coming through which is encouraging but it's just this whole ridge that runs a couple of kilometers it's a sandy ridge and it's just full of these baobabs and they're all now just starting to come into into leaf and hopefully we'll be getting some rain in the next few days. Oh here's a what is that? It's like an impala. You know, impala skull. These green bushes, mustard bushes, they have leaves all year round. How they manage that, who knows. <laughs> but they all look so yummy and green, but they aren't eaten. Animals don't eat them really. Very little feeds on them. So they manage to survive. Being green when everything else is brown as a parlor up ahead. Morning guys, sorry to scare you. I'm just going for a jog. Oh, here's a carcass or something. It's quite a big, oh, it's an eland. Now you see how there's so many bones still lying around there. You find that with a lot of carcasses. Yeah, that is. So many bones. And there you can see it's an eland. Um, so you see that with a lot of carcasses here yeah, where there's still a lot of bones left. And that's probably because they're very few. Um, hyenas here because normally when there's a good population of hyenas they will totally annihilate just about all those bones there'll be very little left um, so it's really encouraging to have found that hyena den I mean there's eight youngsters there and probably another six adults two sub adults so it's a, a nice healthy clan and they look like they're doing well. Exciting times for me. Now yeah, this tree has been, this false marula, been completely trashed by elephants. There's another carcass here. Yeah. This is a, a buffalo carcass. Female buffalo. Again, I mean that skin wouldn't normally be here. If hyenas had been at it, they probably would have eaten all that skin. On this short run of mine, which will probably be about 6k. I've probably got another two to go. And uh, I've already seen all these different carcasses. So it's a definite sign that there aren't many hyenas. 
But the good news is they're on the up. So uh, you know, running here in the bush is so much more productive for me because uh, I'm getting to see a whole lot of stuff that I don't see when I'm running on a on a road. And I mean, I found a hyena den the other day just because I was I was jogging in the Mapani picked up tracks and followed them and then visited them. So I'm uh, hoping that somewhere along the line here yeah, I'm gonna pick up some honey badger. <laughs> Maybe he'll come running out ch chasing me, which is fine. That's all good. <laughs>